Do you believe that we send all of our water to California or that resorts, golf courses, and new construction use an oversized portion of our water resources? Well, there's several myths about water use in Southern Nevada that are out there, especially on social media. We're here to set the record straight and to give you the facts. It's time to tap the truth. Hi, I'm Colby Pellegrino, Deputy General Manager of Resources for the Southern Nevada Water Authority. And our topic for this edition of Tap the Truth is, what happens when we reach power pool at Hoover Dam? So what power pool is referring to is the elevation at which Hoover Dam continues to generate hydroelectric power. Now for the Southwest, the power that comes from Hoover Dam is actually a very small portion of the overall power on the grid. So if we look grid wide in the Southwest, there will not be major impacts if we lose the ability to generate power at Hoover Dam. There are individual communities that rely very heavily on power from Hoover Dam. This is not one of them. Those communities will likely have to pay more to get power from other sources. But when it comes to the level at which we would lose power, that's about elevation 950 in Lake Mead. Our intakes sit significantly below that at elevation 875. So we can continue to deliver water to this community even if we drop below the elevation at Hoover Dam where we can no longer generate power. And that's how we tap the truth. For more information about the most popular water myths in the valley and the real truth about them, find us on YouTube by searching SNWA video.